Rizal in Dapitan. Rizal was brought under a maximum security to the steamer Cebu headed by Capitan Delgras on the 15th of July, 1892, which sailed to Dapitan. Rizal carried a letter by Father Pablo Pastils, superior of the Jesuit Society in the Philippines, to Father Antonio Obak, Jesuit missionary in Dapitan. Father Superior Pastils informed Father Obak that Rizal could live at the parish convent on the following conditions. Number one, that Rizal's publicly retract his errors concerning religion and make, make statements that were clearly pro-Spanish and against revolutions. Number two, that he perform the church rites and make a general confession of his past life. Number three, that he that henceforth he conduct himself in an exemplary manner as a Spanish subject and a man of religion. <coughs> Consequently, he live in the house of the com commandant Captain Carnicero. The relations between Carnicero and Rizal were warm and friendly. Warm and friendly. Rizal admired the kind, generous Spanish captain. <coughs> he, he then wrote a poem, a Don Ricardo Carnicero on August 26, 1892, on the occasions of the captain's birthday. Home of the Commandant Carnicero Wins a Manila Lottery On September 21, 1892, the mail boat Butuan was <coughs> approaching the town of the Dapitan carrying a lottery ticket number 9736 jointly owned by Captain Carnicero, Dr. Rizal, and Francisco Ecalior won the second prize of 20,000 in the government-owned Manila lottery. So the 20,000 and 20,000, 6,200 Rizal shares, the, um, the rest, how oh, did I? Ang 20,000, ang 6,200, mo na ikaw ang Rizal nga share. Diya, ang isang 6,200, gibahin ni Diya sa, ang 2,000, he gave to his father. Ang 200, 200, to basa in Hong Kong. Diya, the rest of the money, he invested by the purchasing agricultural lands along the coast of the, of Talisay. Wins in Manila Lottery. <clears throat> Three pesetas amount result allotted for lottery tickets every month. This was only vice commented Wenceslao E. Ritaina, his first Spanish biographer and former enemy. Result Pastel's debate on religion. The debate started Pastel's sent Rizal a book by San Sarda along with an advice that Rizal should desist from his Mahadira's foolishness in viewing religion from the perspective of individual judgment and self-esteem. The debate can be read in the four letters. Rizal was the better against the friars because they commit abuses under the clock of religions. Father Bastos tried to bring back to Catholic Catholicism Rizal by telling him that human intelligence is limited. Thus, he needs the guidance of God. Rizal Pastel's debate on religion. Behind the debate, Pastel's and Rizal were friend as evidently pictured when Pastel's gave uh, Rizal a copy of Imitations de Cristo by Father Tomas Kempis. Rizal gave Pastel's as bust of Saint Paul, which he which he had made Rizal continued to her to hear mass and celebrate religious religious event results challenges a free Frenchman to a duel mr juan lardet a french businessman whom result had a conflict so the next is result and father sanchez in his aspiration to reconcile result with the church father pastel sent to the pitan Kini sila mo ni si 
Father Obak Cora of the Pitan, si Father Jose Belaclara Cora of Devalog, and last is si Father Francisco Paulo de Sanchez. So, Fa Father Francisco Paulo de Sanchez is a Rizal favorite teacher at Ateneo. So, since it is, since he is a favorite teacher of Rizal, Rizal gave to Sanchez on his birthday, which is Estudio Sobre de la Gua Tagala Manuscript. So, it is also called a uh, Study of Tagalog Language. The next is idyllic life in the pitan so the family members of Rizal visited him so his mother visited him his sister trinidad maria and narcisa and also her nephew studio estanislao mauricio and prudencio since Rizal built a house by the seashore of talisai surrounded by fruit trees a school for boys, and a hospital for his parents. So during the life of Rizal in Dapitan, he also encountered with the friar spy. So the friar spy named Pablo Mercado. Pablo Mercado assumed the name, the, the name of the spy who visited Rizal at his house and pretended to be a relative by showing a photo of Rizal and pair of buttons with the initial PM as evidence of kinship. So the spy offered to Rizal to be a couriers of letters for the patri patriots in Manila. Rizal became suspicious and wanted to throw the spy outside, but considering his values, and late hour of the night, he offered the spy to spend the night at his house. The next day, he sent the spy away. The spy stayed in the pitan and spread talks among the people that he was a relative to Rizal. Rizal went to the commandantia and reported to the impostor to Captain Juan Setges. So, Juan Setges is the successor of Carnesero. Set guests ordered Pablo Mercado's arrest and told Anastasio and Anastasio Adriatico to investigate him immediately. Florencio Nama, Namanan, aka Pablo Mercado, single and about 30 years old, who was hired to recollect, fri to recollect friars to spy on Rizal activity. The secret mission of Pablo Mercado was not assassination attempt so this is the picture of Rizal as a physician so Rizal as a physician Donia Chidora and Maria lived with Rizal for a year and a half it was here when Rizal operated his mother's right eye thought the operation was successful his mother had a wound infection after ignoring Rizal instruction of not removing the bandage. However, the infection was immediately treated. Don Ignacio Tomarong Rizal patient who was able to see again after his operation, he paid Rizal 3,000 pesos. The next is see Don Florencio Azargara. Rich Hacendero of Aklan, who was cured of eye ailment, in turn he gave Rizal a cargo of sugar. Then last is Rizal prescribed medicinal plants of his poor patients. So this is Rizal as a engineer. Aspireto Agrimensor, expert surveyor, Rizal applied his engineering knowledge by constructing a system of waterwork to furnish clean water to the town's people. So this is a Talisay water system. Rizal as an engineer, Mr. H.F. Cameron, an American engineer who praised Rizal for his engineering ingenuity. Rizal had drained the marshes to get rid of malaria that was infesting the pitan. Equipped the town with lightning system using 500 pesos on his patients paid him. 
The lighting system consisted of coconut oil lamps, beautified the town of the Pitan by remodeling the town plaza and making a huge relief map of Mindanao out of earth. Stones and grass. Next is Rizal as an educator. Rizal as an educator. Rizal established in the Pitan a school. It began with three pupils who increased to 16 and eventually 21. 16 of his pupils did not pay tuition. Instead of charging them fees, Rizal met them for work in his gardens and construction project. Formal classes were between 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. He also applied the emperor system like that of Atimiyu. During recess, pupils built fires to drive away insects, prone fruit trees, and manured the soil. Outside class hours, students had gymnastics, boxing, wrestling, stone throwing, swimming, harness, and boating. Jose Rizal wrote a honor of Talisa, which made by his pupil sing so, the hymn of Nahim to Talisa. So this is also an illustration of Rizal as a scientist. Contributions to Science Rizal sent specimens he found to the Museum of Europe, especially the Dresden Museum. In turn, he received scientific books and surgical instruments. He had built up a rich collection of conchology consisting of 346 shells of 203 species. He had discovered rare specimens like Apogonia rizali, a small beetle, Racophorus rizali, a rare frog, and Draco rizali, a flying dragon. Rizal as a linguist. Continuing his study of languages, Rizal learned in the Pitan, Visayan, Subanon, and Malay languages. He knew by that time 22 languages as follows Tagalog, Malay, Ilocano, Hebrew, Visayan, Sanskrit, Subanon, Dutch, Spanish, Catalan, Latin, Italian, Greek, Chinese, English, Japanese, French, Portuguese, German, Swedish, Arabic, and Russian. Rizal as an artist. To pursue his artist's artistic activities, Rizal first contributed paintings to the Sisters of Charity who were preparing the Sanctuary of the Holy Virgin. Second, he made sketches of persons and things that attracted him in the Pitan. Third, modeled a statuette called the Mother's Re Revenge to stress, stress the moral of the incident where a puppy of his dog, Syria, was eaten by a crocodile. Fourth, constructed a statue of a girl called the Dapitan Girl, a wood carving of Josephine Bracken. Fifth, made a bust of St. Paul for Father Pastels. Rizal as a farmer. Rizal acquired total land holdings of 70 hectares where 6,000 hemp plants, 1,000 coconut trees, and numerous fruit trees, sugarcane, corn, coffee, and cacao were planted. He planned to establish an agricultural colony in Sintiu Ponot because it was ideal for raising cacao, coffee, coconuts, cattle. However, this did not materialize due to lack of support from the government. Result as a businessman. Ramon Carion, Rizal's business partner in the Pitan, Rizal made profitable business ventures in fishing, copra, and hemp industries. Hemp industry, it is Rizal's most profitable business. Once he shipped 150 balis of hemp to Manila, he purchased hemp in the Pitan at 7 peso and for reels per pickle and he sold it to Manila at 10 and 4 re reals. Rizal also engaged in lime manufacturing. Their lime burner had a monthly capacity of more than 400 bags of lime. 
he organized a co cooperative association of the peat and farmers to break Chinese monopoly. Rizal as an inventor. Rizal as inventor. Among Rizal's inventions were, number one, cigarette lighter, which he sent as a gift to Blumenrit called Sulpukan. Number two, a wooden machine for making breaks. My retreat. Upon restoring her eyesight, Donna Chidora returned to Manila. Seeing how busy Rizal is, she regretted neglecting her muses. She requested Rizal to write poetry as a response. Rizal wrote Meretero, relating his serene life as an exile in the Pitan. Rizal and Josephine Bracken the death of Leonor Rivera left a poignant void in Rizal's heart. In his loneliness, he met Josephine. Josephine is an Irish girl. Born in Hong Kong, James Bracken and Elizabeth Jane McBride, Josephine's parents who are both Irish in citizenship. Mr. George Taufer Mr. George Taufer, a man who adopted Josephine after her mother died of childbirth. Mr. Taufer became blind so he sought for an ophthalmic specialist. Rizal and Josephine Bracken Manuela Orlock, a Filipina companion who accompanied Josephine Bracken to the Pitan. Rizal and Josephine Bracken decided to get married but Father Obak refused to marry them without the permission of Bishop of Cebu. Hearing of the planned marriage and unable to endure the thoughts of losing Josephine, Mr. Taufer tried to commit suicide by cutting off his throat with a razor but Rizal was able to prevent this. To avoid a tragedy, Josephine accompanied Mr. Taufer back to Manila. Mr. Taufer returned to Hong Kong alone while Josephine stayed with Rizal in Manila. Having no priest to marry them, Rizal and Josephine married themselves before the eyes of God. The two were happy for they were expecting for a baby. However, Rizal played a prank on Josephine making her give birth to an 8-month baby boy. The baby lived for only 3 hours. He was named Francisco in honor of Rizal's father. Rizal and the Katipunan Pio Valenzuela emissary to the Pitan in order to inform Rizal of the plan of Katipunan during the meeting at a little river called Bitukang Manok. Venus Streamer Valenzuela boarded to reach the Pitan. Raimondo Mata, blind man who came with Valenzuela to camouflage his mission. Rizal objected Bonifacio's project because, number one, the people are not ready for a revolution. Number two, arms and funds must first be collected before raising the cry of revolution. Volunteers as military doctor in Cuba. When Cuba was under revolution and raging yellow fever epidemic, Rizal wrote to Governor General Roman Blanco offering his services as military doctor. Governor Blanco lately notified Rizal of the acceptance of the offer. The notification came along with an instruction of acquiring first a pass for Manila from the Politico Military Commander of the Pitan. The Song of the Traveler Upon receiving the acceptance of his offer to go to Europe, then to Cuba, to help in the curing of patients suffering yellow fever, he wrote a poem, El Canto del Viajero. España Streamer which brought Rizal to Manila from the Pitan, Rizal was accompanied by Josephine, Narcisa Angelica, Narcisa's daughter, his three nephews and six pupils. As farewell, the town brass of the Pitan played the Dolorous Funeral March of Chopin. He stayed in the Pitan for four years, 13 days and a few hours. Rizal made the map of Mindanao.